Uh, so this is just a quick video on how to play a little arrangement of Pure Imagination, the Willy Wonka song. Uh, sometimes I talk about fret numbers, sometimes I talk about um, notes in the chord, like I'll call something a major six. If you don't understand what any that means, do not worry. I tried to make it so that if someone doesn't understand theory, they'll still be able to figure out what's going on in the video. I talk about visualizing shapes and then I'll put down another finger into that shape or I'll take off a finger from that shape. This is just how I see things. Um, definitely pause the video on certain spots or try and pay attention to what strings I'm playing. Hopefully I explain it all well. Um, but if anyone has any questions, just let me know and I'll answer as best I can. All right, it starts off with this chord here. This is a pretty common shape on guitar. This would be a G flat over A flat. But the melody goes like this. Third fret on the G string, second fret on the B, fourth on the E. To get all these notes and the bass note, I have to get my thumb over the top. So that's four, three, and two, and this is four as well. And if you can, four on the thumb as well on the E string. So. And here, if you can get the thumb here, fantastic. I can't. So I just bring my index finger down to the first fret. So it becomes an A flat nine. If you don't understand what any of that means, don't worry. Then we're gonna use this major seven shape. So that's a bar on the sixth fret, on the D to the E string. And then get your, I guess your ring finger on the eighth fret of the E. And then I'm visualizing this shape here. And I'm playing just these notes because my thumb is catching the A string and then these three strings are being played by these fingers so I don't really need to worry about the middle by that I mean the D string so I'm gonna go 8, 8, 6 and 8 so I'm, I'm not worried about the D string so it goes and then another minor 7 shape up here two strings with one skipped in the middle and do that like this and then we go 11 9 minor shape down here to get the notes ringing out I bar this shape here I'm just literally catching just one note here this is a dominant 7 13 I think that's what you call it you can call it just a dominant 13 So that's six, four for the melody. And then six on the G. So six, four on the B, six on the G. I'm visualizing the C, open C shape. But I'm just gonna play the D, the G and the B. And I'm gonna go back and forth on the one and the two on the B string. When I say one and two, I'm not talking about chord tones, I'm just talking about the frets. That's just, um major seven bar chord shape. You can also play it here. And I think a nice thing to do here would be to go back to the shape we played earlier and do one of these harmonics if you can do. So that's when you, you put your finger 12 frets up right over the fret. I'm gonna pick it with your thumb. So that would be like. Something like that. So all together that sounds like and then I have a missed it there. That kind of thing. After that I go to the B section. I go up to the ninth fret now play um, G flat major seven. I'm visualizing this shape, but now I'm taking away this finger and I'm just changing the fingering to this so that I can catch the melody. So I'm going like this now. Again, we don't need to worry about the D string. Arpeggio it up. And I'm gonna do like that thing where I, where I skip the middle finger. I skip a string in between. I change my hand position there so I can catch the melody note and a kind of harmonize note underneath. 11 and 10 on the A and the G. 
and then just visualize kind of a minor seven shape here on the sixth fret. I'm just gonna take off my middle finger. Again, this shape. So. And then a major seven shape. You get both melody notes in that, on the B and then the E string. So it's a six, four, and then this shape. And then I add in this little kind of inner voice from five, four, three. And then hitting the sixth fret on the D string, which is already in both shapes. And then I'm sliding up to this um, minor seven flat five shape on the 10th fret, so G minor seven flat five. But I'm gonna take off my index finger from it. So I'm seeing it from the 10th fret, but I'm not actually playing that fret. I'm gonna put this on the eighth fret. So that's gonna become a melody. But by the time we hit this, now we're changing shape. And that's the melody from eight to 11. So for this shape, I'm barring all on the eighth and then just my middle finger on the, uh, the ninth. F sus4. So my pinky is on the 11, ring finger is on the 10th. Again with this kind of technique here, A string, D string and now B string. And I'm going to try and do a walk here from this note. And by the time we hit this, it acts as the uh, sus4 of the next chord. So I'll show you what I mean. If you don't understand any of that, it's fine. This shape, and this is off the sixth fret, so B flat. I think he's just doing that. And in the middle of that, I'm gonna drop that down to the seventh. And then eighth fret on its own. And this shape here, six, five, five on the A, D, and G. It's a chromatic thing then. Cool. We'll try the whole section again. Back to the A section, so this has a different ending. So, same again. Let's change this bit. So, instead of going, let's add in two 11s on the B and the G. And then on the G, then after that, we go 10 and 9. Slide into it. And this time, we play this chord. Let's walk down to the next one. So, that'll be. Six, five, four. So, so the same thing, except we just add in a little bit. With the pinky on the eighth fret of the A string, um, and then on the D and the G, we're just going to play the fifth, and then just go up to this major seven shape on the A string. Those are our melody notes. Play that last bit. So same again. Uh, I'll try and play the whole thing. Uh, it mightn't be exactly the same, but you get the idea.
times there where I say I went to this chord, I think both times I left out the root. The root. So I could have gone. I could have played. I don't know why I didn't. Just I thought it sounded nice as well. Especially on electric with a lot of kind of washy reverb, it sounds really good. It's up to you. Those are the shapes. I'm kind of seeing these as my guide shapes. And whether you play all the notes is kind of your call. It's also down to what you have available to you. I can't use my pinky, so I only use these three. So. All right, hope that helps.